Hey guys, it's Tessa. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> that that's that's pretty funny sound. My cousin called me last night and said that was funny. Not to me. <laughs> On that sound, so yeah, I don't know why I did that, but um today I'm showing you guys how you can take care of your trumpet because there's some things that can happen to it that make it sound funny or make it sound like it is not working so if you are having trouble with that you should keep watching this video so when you first rent um your trumpet um you will get cleaning supplies or if you buy it i don't know i haven't bought one um you'll get cleaning supplies and slide grease and oil for your valves um you'll get stuff like that um and this did not come with it. I used this to put the slide to put the grease on the slide. Um, I think that's pretty obvious. But um, so yeah, and then it comes with usually a little um, fabric um, like cloth and um, like a fiberglass cloth, and it is good to make your trumpet all shiny. Um, you sometimes sometimes it comes with a book, but you have to pay extra for it. I'm pretty sure um, And then it comes with the snake which this is pretty obvious. So when It's when your trumpet sounds weird here. Let me make it so it sounds weird When our trumpet sounds weird like maybe you can't blow air through it or maybe if air's not going through or maybe if it sounds like this or like if it's not working then how why that is probably happening is either your valves are in the wrong place because your valves actually have numbers I'm fine um, just muffin just a, just yeah yeah okay like this big is plastic thing. Huh? Yeah. Big plastic. Yeah. So this is number one, which is number <coughs> one is closest to the mouthpiece or where the mouthpiece goes. Um, so maybe those are in order. So if those are in order, that could be one main reason. Or another reason could be that they're not clicked. That means that they can go up and down without getting stuck. It's just that the valves can move. So if your valves can move, that's probably why. Sorry, that's probably why it's sounding weird because because the valves aren't clicked. So you want to make sure you twist it until you can't twist it anymore. And then once you've done that, you should be good to go. I'm very weak right now, but it could be something, if it's still not working, then it could be that something is just stuck in your trumpet, which is not good, obviously. Or it could be one of those things I said, like something could, or like one of the, not, like the valves can be in the wrong place. Ah. That's how you know it's working. Just trying it. So, for me, for a school recognition, I have to practice 40 minutes a day to become a advanced player but we're gonna see to do 40 minutes a day of my trumpet practice um but i've also been getting a lot of comments asking like how we use each like cleaning tool and stuff like that so today is 
how I'm going to also be showing that, but the main thing was also just to tell you, like, if it gets stuck and it makes a weird sound, but helping you at that. So, I'm holding my trumpet like this, and I'm going to get my snake here, the cleaning, and it also glows, most of them glow in the dark, so that you can see it on its way down. The more it's in the light, it will glow, but just get that to clean that out. So, yeah, this is what the snake is for. It takes a while to get used to it, though, because it's usually sometimes, like, stuck in a circle. So, if that does happen to you, it's okay. So, then there is two um, cleaning tools here. Um, the smaller one is for your mouthpiece. goes in just, like, sorry. It goes in just like this, so you can clean your mouthpiece. This one doesn't fit in as well, so you want to make sure you take the one that actually fits in, which is this one usually, the smaller one, the thinner one. And then this one, I've been getting a lot of comments about this one. This one is actually another snake, basically, but for this side, you can also get the snake to get in farther, which is what a lot of people do. I don't like to use the snake for this one. I kind of use both, really, but it doesn't really matter which one you use unless if you're not taking good care of it. And if it's wet, it's because of your spit. But, you know, that's okay. So, the next thing we have is some slide grease which a lot of people I have to say a ton of people don't know what slide grease is for so I'm helping you with this so basically every trumpet has a slide you know so this is what this is for in case your slide ever gets stuck my slide gets stuck a lot because I don't use it a lot in my trumpet class because it's not one of the big things we usually just do the horn and some syllables but no we don't usually use our slide we use the smaller slides though that are located right under the bell and the very very tiny slide as you can see right sorry right here Oops, This one doesn't really do much. Um, I'll demonstrate what they both sound like. I'll do the the medium one and then the really tiny one. So. <laughs> so that's the medium one, and I'll do the smaller one. <laughs> breathing with the slides moving so if you're not used to that either then don't really do it because it kind of hurts your like your vocal cords and stuff so like if you're not used to it then don't do it obviously so slides get stuck okay you're gonna have to get used to slides getting stuck because they do get stuck like right here I'll show you how like how I do it it's pretty simple I have to say so I my slide is pretty greasy from when I last cleaned it, so. Um, yeah, so let me put this down. Um, it gets really gross and just not fun, you know? So, you gotta, you can't be afraid to, like, push down your trumpet because you're gonna have to get used to that. You, you can't just take this out of a little tiny, tiny, tiny little thing, like a little baby or something. You have to get used to it, so. I hold it like this. Mm -hmm. And I just pour, pour some oil because oil also does help. Um, that's what I was taught by my teacher. She says that oil does help a lot. Um, in fact, it's better sometimes than slide grease because slide grease doesn't work all the time. So, yeah. Um, let me get some slide grease, though, because slide grease, uh, you usually put on after you put the oil. This literally just looks like chapstick. There's nothing big about it or anything. It's kind of boring. Just 
boring chapstick for the trumpet. Um, it's like your trumpet getting chapped lips or something. It's, it's not fun. So I do that on both sides. And usually this is the time when it goes down, but if it doesn't, that's how you know. The trumpet is just stuck a little bit. It's not a big deal or anything, but yeah. So You also need to put a lot of your strength into it. I give it a little wiggle. Um, but if it's still kind of not maneuvering with you, then that's okay. I hate when it gets stuck. Shouldn't have done that, but oh, there we go. See, so you can see, you can tell when it's about to come down, but I don't know if it's about to yeah, stop. So you can also use one of these brushes. These help sometimes, not all the time. They don't usually help. So no, I'm using that, <laughs> but sometimes it's also easier to close it when you're actually blowing into it. But see, um, just like that, that helps. So that's what slide geese was for because slides get stuck a lot. I don't even have enough pieces. But your cloth that you got can also get so incredibly dirty and it just gets gross. So I use opposite sides for that. And then once it like the whole thing gets gross and it's just not fun then you can actually um, just wash it it's washable it's a fiberglass little towel it doesn't really do anything bad but you can wash it to make it better because sometimes it gets oil stains on it which is not good to have so I'm gonna place it on this trumpet I give my trumpet deep cleans every time after I use it, like after I use it, which I prefer doing because I think it's better to keep it nice and clean. And also cleaning your mouthpieces, but so. Here is me practicing. <laughs> So, again, it kind of feels like it's not in place, so let's just snap them. Okay, I'm learning a song in my drama class. <laughs> so it's it's called the bumblebee fly away it's not a very famous song or anything so if you're looking it up dude you can't find it so here comes the bumblebee the bumblebee the bumblebee here comes the bumblebee, the bumblebee, the bumblebee. Here comes, here comes the bumblebee. Here comes the bumblebee, the bumblebee, the bumblebee. So, let's do this. That was like one of my longest rounds. I'm really proud of myself. So, yesterday we were going to learn the National Anthem, but we didn't end up learning the whole thing. Um, so, I'm kind of still... So, 
So that is my trumpet practice a day. Usually it's up to 20 to 40 minutes. Um, I haven't learned any songs yet in my book, so that way, so really I don't know anything yet. Um, I did learn something at school, but that sounds better with more people, the choir of trumpets, or different instruments like the clarinet and stuff like that. My cousin is gross. She made a fake fart sound. And then I usually have my folder in there, my music book, and my pencil. So that's how you can care for your trumpet, and that's also how long I practice for a day. So, yeah, so if you guys like this video and you want more videos of my trumpet, then give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and comment down below if you want more like this. So, bye!